Hello, my fellow mathematician. So we are going to discuss perimeter of shapes. Even before we go to the examples which are illustrated there, you need to ask yourself, what is the meaning of perimeter? Perimeter means you go around a finger, maybe from where you started, you go until you come back to where you started. Uh, for instance, you can use an example of uh, maybe a deity running or yourself running when you want to run around a track or around a field. You start from a point, you go around until you come back to where you started. Example one find the perimeter of the semicircle below. You need to ask yourself how many lines are we going to add? for us to go back to where we started. For instance, from this point, you can start from this point. The first line is this semicircle. So you can call it A, or you name it A. From there, you will go back to where you started. So you can call this one B. So for us to get the perimeter of this semicircle, we are only supposed to add two lines. The curved one plus the diameter is B. So you know the measurement for B that is 2.8 centimeters. The only line which we are calculating is the curved distance, that is the semicircle. So how do you get A? This is a half circumference, so it is a half pi diameter. So you write half times 22 over 7 times the diameter is this line joining the two ends of the semicircle so it is 2.8 you can change it into fraction because this one is a decimal it will be 28 over 10 let us simplify we up by 2 1 by 2 11 7 divided by 7, you have 1. 28 divided by 7, you have 4. 11 times 4, you will get 44. Over 1 times 1, that is 1 times 10, you have 10. The measurement you are given there, it was in decimal, so change this one into decimal. Since we have 1, 0 in our trigonometric term, means we will have 1 digit after the decimal point. So you count 1 meaning our answer will be 4.4. That is not the perimeter. That is just the length of this line, the curve one, we have got 4.4. For you to get perimeter, you are to have A plus B. That is A plus B. A is 4.4 plus B, 2.8. So 4 plus 2.8 you have what are we supposed to get now? You have 4 plus 8, you get 12 of 2 carry 1 1 plus 4 5 plus 2 you have 7, remember this one is the small point so our perimeter is 7.2 centimeters that becomes our correct answer let's go to question number 2 question number 2 Calculate the perimeter of the finger below. This is our finger. If you want to run around this finger, you start from this point, you will cover this distance, the curvy distance, which you can name it A. Then you come and add this one, you can name it B. Then we add this one, C. Then we have D. Remember when you are running around a finger, or you are getting the perimeter, you don't add the inner lines. For instance, when athlete, an athlete is running around this finger, when that person comes to this point, you not go inside and go back. No, you are supposed to go around without going inside the field. So we have A, B, C, D. You need only Four lines for you to get the perimeter of this thing. Let's get each line after the other. 
This one is 36, it means it is equal to the other side, so here we have 36. This one is 28, it means here we have 28. For us to get perimeter, it means you add 36 plus 28 plus 36 plus A. We only have one line which is missing for us to get the perimeter of that thing, which is A. And if A is R of a circle, meaning you get by using R pi diameter, substitute R times 22 over 7 times the diameter. What is the diameter of this semicircle? You check that line which is joining the two ends of the semicircle, which is 28. Remember it is over 1 because there is no decimal. So by 7, 1. By 7, 4. By 2, 1. By 2, 11. So we have 1 times 11, you get 11 times 4, you get 44. Over 1 times 1 times 1, you get 1. So we are getting 44. That was the only line which was missing for us to go down through this finger. So how do we get perimeter? A, which we have got 44, plus B, which is 36, plus C, which is 28, plus D, which is 36. Now we have gone round the finger. We started here, we have gone round until we came back to where we started. So let us add. 36 plus 36, you get 72. 44 plus 28, you get 72. So you have 4, and then we have 14. Remember, you can also add 44 plus 36 plus 28 plus 36, you end up getting 144. So the meter is 144 meters. Let's use that example. Find the perimeter of the finger below. For you to get perimeter, it means you go around this finger. If you start here, you add this line, if you call it there, go around, not inside, you are going around using the most outer line. So this one will be our B plus this one will be our C. Then this one is our D. Remember if this one is 6, this is also 6. Then this one is E. Then you go back to where you started. This becomes F. You are given 6, you are given 5, you are given 5, you are given 6, you are given 17. The only line which is missing for you to get perimeter of this finger is B only. Only B, which is a half of a circle, so how do we get D? A half pi diameter. So you substitute, you say a half times 22 over 7, that is the value of pi, times the diameter. The diameter is the range of the two ends of the semicircle, this distance here, and you are not given. But you know this finger here is a rectangle and the two opposite sides of a rectangle they are equal. Meaning if this one is 17, the total here is 17. From here up to here is 17. So for you to get the remaining part here, you say 17 minus these two lines. So 5 plus 5 is 10. So you say 17 minus 10, you get 7. So the diameter is 7 and it's over 1. By 2, 1. By 2, 11. By 7, 1. By 7, 1. So you have 11 times 1, you get 11 over. 1 times 1 times 1, you get 1. You will get 11. That is B. That is our B. That is B. So this one is 11. So let us add to get perimeter. You start from this point, you go around until you come back to where you started. Remember, we are not coming inside. We are using the most outer line. So we have perimeter will be 5 plus 11 plus 5 plus 
six plus seventeen plus six. Now we have come back to where we started, meaning we have gone around the finger. We have got the perimeter. So five plus five, that is ten. Eleven plus six, that is seventeen. So you have seven, you have two. Then we have seventeen. Seven plus seven, you have four. Carry one. One plus two, you have three plus one, you have four. Then you add six. Six plus four, you have ten. Zero carry one. One plus four, you have five. The perimeter becomes fifty centimeters. That is the correct answer. Our last example. Very simple question. As simple as taking corporate. So calculate the perimeter of the shape below. The first thing is to understand the mean of perimeter which is going around the thing. From this point, you go around until you come back to where you started. So from here, this distance, cap distance here, is a. You can name it a. Then this one will be our B. Then finally you go back to where you started through C. So we only have three lines. One, two, three. These are dotted lines. And also this one is inside. And this one is dotted. We use the dotted lines. We are just going to see the most outer lines of that finger. So we have three semicircles. How do we get the curve distance of a semicircle? Let us start with A. Up pi diameter. So we have a half times 22 over 7 times. What is the diameter of the curve distance L or semicircle L? It is the line joining the two ends of the semicircle, which is here you are given 2.1 meters. So which is 3.5 plus 2.1. Which will give you, uh, it will give you six. Then we have five. So the diameter is five point six. You can change it to fraction to be fifty six over ten by seven. One by seven. Eight by two. One by two. Eleven. So we get eighty eight over ten. Change to decimal, it will be 8.8. .8. That is this line alone. This one, you get 8.8 .8 meters. Let's go to B, this other line. B is equal to R times 22 over 7 times. What is the diameter of this semicircle B? It is the distance joining the two ends of the semicircle at this point. The other one, they are doing the 3.5, changing to fraction, it will be 35 over 10. 35 over 10. By 7, 1. By 7, 5. By 2, 1. By 2, 11. 11 times 5, you get 55. 1 times 10, you get 2. The answer becomes 5.5. Five. Remember, you are given your measurements. In decimals, give your answers in decimal. C. C is still a semicircle. So you use the same formula, R pi diameter. So it is R times 22 over 7 times. The diameter is the line joining the two points of the semicircle, this one and this one. So we have 2.1. Change into fraction to be 21 over 10 by 7, 1. By seven three by two one by two eleven eleven times three you get thirty three over one times ten you get ten change it into decimal you get three point three that is the length for C remember you're supposed to add three lines in this finger for you to get perimeter this one. 8.8. .8. So the perimeter is 8.8 plus. .8. Here we have got 5.5 .5 plus 
this distance, this curve distance here, up was in the circle, we got 3.3. So let us add that one to get the limit term. So we have 8.8 plus 5.5. Five plus five, you get thirteen. Three and one. Let's move point. One plus eight, you get nine plus five, you get fourteen. Plus three point three. Three plus three, you get six point. Four plus three, you get seven. Plus nothing, you have one. So our perimeter becomes seventeen point six meters. As simple as that. Just know that when you are talking about perimeter, you must go around the finger until you come back to where you started. Remember, internal lines are not added because I've used the example of the material is running. It means you start from one point to go around the outermost lines without going inside. You go until you reach where you started. Thank you for watching. May God bless you. Bye-bye.